Hi there, Eric Backer, author of Candida Crusher. Thanks for tuning into my video today. Today I'd like to talk to you about health and worry, about people who continually worry about their health. When you've been in the clinic a long time and seen many patients like I have, you end up seeing lots of people who worry excessively about their health. It's not uncommon for somebody with a chronic yeast infection to come in and be very concerned about their health. So question I've got for you today, have you had your spray-free, organic or biodynamic, no caffeine, no gluten, high protein breakfast today? Have you exercised for one hour today? Cut back on saturated fat? Taken all the dietary supplements? Trying to live a perfect lifestyle yet don't feel too good? Have you noticed how many e-zines there are and web columns and television programs that, which I call the health police and these are people there that basically want you to have the most amazingly healthy lifestyle they really zoom in and focus on on your health to a quite a high degree and many people can actually develop anxiety disorder uh, or continual worry from their health they worry about everything they eat they worry about electromagnetic pollution they worry about everything in fact, this worry ends up becoming a disease in its own right. I've seen it constantly with many patients, particularly the chronically unwell people. I can remember when I was growing up, we had a family member who my mother used to call a hypochondriac. I didn't know what that word meant until much later, but this particular uncle would always be going to the doctor. Every week he'd be at the doctor with another concern, whether he had a little sensation in his tummy or a spot on his skin or an itch on his scalp. He would always frequent the doctor, and he'd describe his ills to everybody that was within earshot, willing to listen. Are you like that? Are you one of those people who is always complaining to people about how he or she feels, always going to the doctor, every time a little sensation occurs? When you think about it, if you continually focus on all your ills, your whole life becomes a misery. It's not the way you, I really would like you to live your life at all. So try and, and be careful of the health police because they can take a lot of fun out of your life. So I believe in quality of life. And when the quality doesn't e exist to be there anymore, perhaps there's no point having any life. So, you know, why would you want to live a vegetable at 95 years of age? It's, you know, that's something that you want to have a, a good think about. So the quality is what we're concerned about. And the best way to have a quality of life is to live a life of moderation. Eating good foods, not doing nothing to excess and uh, it's all about balance in life and that can make a big difference towards your recovery as well one of my favorite sayings by a very clever man many years ago was that common people ascribe their ills to everybody around them people of less wisdom people who aren't very wise they ascribe ills to themselves but people of much wisdom ascribe their ills to nobody they don't talk about their ills they get on with their life they get checkups if they're concerned, but they don't become excessively worried about the health. So I just want you to remember that excessive worry and concern about your health, about being anal about every small detail of your health, can create illness and stress, which can very much undermine your health. In fact, some of the most, uh, some of the patients I've seen with the most perfect diets, seem to be always in in, in poor condition and quite ill, and that's something to think about. So. I hope that's a bit of food for you, food for thought for you today. So stop worrying about your health and get on with your life. And let's just see what happens. Thanks for your interest in tuning in today.